so I am back again with the rundown, yeah? This is my segment where I just do a little wrap up of the past week, what's been happening, what's new, what's old, what story's not been told, you know how it goes. So, first of all, um, okay, so usually I start off talking about like a story in it. So my first story for today is, Mandem, should you like a picture from your brethren or your friends baby mom that is the question today um the reason why i'm asking this now is because there was a lady on my instagram that posted certain that you might deem it as a little sexy yeah okay cool, cool. she's getting her modeling thing on yeah and a man says to me now so say like this was like the day after a man says to me oi bigs how come you liking up my man's baby mom's picture like that bruh i was like reload it, reload it. Oh, wait what wait wait a goddamn minute you know when you gotta load what the fuck the man just said to you bruh what? Wait, what? I was like, wait, explain that a little bit more because right now that sounds like man just spoke Swahili and man don't understand them kind of languages right there still. So a man said, nah, bro, I see the way you like my man's um baby mom's picture. And I'm like, yeah, I just liked it. I didn't comment on it. I didn't throw up no emojis or nothing. And I was like, nah, bro, you can't like up man's baby mom's picture. So I'm like, yeah, right, right, first yeah, of all, man, wait, wait a fucking minute, man. Why a bloody minute mocker? I'm thinking to myself, listen, I showed man ample respect. I've just liked the picture. I ain't commented. I ain't thrown no, no peach emoji. No, no strong emoji. No fucking the, the devil horns emojis. I'm like, nah, it was calm. I just liked it. Went about my business. I didn't think about it. Everything's done respectfully. My stance, in my defense, is like, I seen it as a minor. And the man had a conversation. Nah, you can't do that though, bro. I was like, what? This must be a road man thing because here's where road man make me laugh. Road man will see something and be like, yo fam, hey, come look at my man's baby mom though. Show a man like, well, that's my man's baby mom. Blood, she would get the dick blood. Yeah, she would get the girlfriend all that I'm worth. What? Next time I'm like, hey, hey, let me see that. Let me see that. Let me see that. Oh. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Hey, rude boy. I would give her the sledgehammer being her DMs with good grammar. I am mean. Hey, listen, yeah. Cause so road men would do that. And then they would tell man them, oh hey, blood, you see my man's pull it in group chats and all them things. I've just seen it. Double tapped, scrolled up, gone about my business. You get me? I'm thinking not enough. And the man are like, nah, you can't do that though. And I'm like, huh? Like, everything's done respectfully, as I've already said. So to me, it was no biggie, you get me? It was no, it was a s'mores, actually. And I'm like, nah, nah, you can't do that. And I'm like, yo, I don't have a baby mom, but I do know how madam get down with their baby mom, and they are very protective, as they should be. But if your baby mom is now becoming a model, um, what do you expect, nigga? There's not much no one can do. Like, you can't, unless you tell her as a grown woman, as a grown man to a grown woman, like, yo, baby love, yo, sweet cheeks, you can't really be doing that. The man them gonna see and all them things. Now, it's different if you get like OnlyFans and a man subscribing. 6 dollars I don't know the price, but everything's right. I'm just saying, you get me? Like, if that's what happened, then that's different, like, Biggs. Bro, are you subscribed to my girl OnlyFans? Yo, blood. Yo. I've just seen a picture and I've liked it. She could have posted anything, like all the pictures that she posted, like normal pictures and that, like she's here, there, and anywhere. You know, she could be at the cinema and I might like it, you know. Posting herself, I might like that. She it, she could be posting pictures of the kids, I might like that. Like, I didn't see it as a problem, but it made me feel like, does some man feel like that? And when I say you're bridging, I don't mean you're right hand man, because obviously the rules do kind of change. If that's your right hand man, if that's your right hand man, it's probably best you don't follow. Your 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 bread drinks, fucking baby mama or girl. Like I'm, I've I've been there. Oh yeah yeah. Um, Biggs is funny and that. And man, I'm like, bloody, he's not even that funny. No, still, you get me? Like, nah, like he makes couple jokes though, but he's not like. <laughs> he's just like. <clears throat> <laughs> like bro, bro, I don't want to be involved in men's disputes with their fucking domestics. Like I'm not, ha I'm not able for man to turn into I right, turn it over my <laughs> over a joke that I've said. You get me, like nah. So that is my question, man. Then, um, is it wrong here yeah, for you to like your brethren's um, 
baby mum's picture if it's a little saucy. You get me? Like, are you saying? Like, no one can tell me that I'm right or I'm wrong because I know in my head everything's done as I said, keyword, hashtag this, respectfully. So once I know everything's done respectfully, I hold my head up, you get me? Like, it's, it's minor, but for you lot, what are you lot saying? Gallon, yeah, what are you saying as well? Can you, can one of your girls here, one of, <laughs> can one of your girls, like, your, if your boyfriend wanted to, I don't know, if he started modeling for like a, a boxer company, so like a Calvin Klein's, like, he's doing up like, next modeling and that, like, <laughs> if your boyfriend's doing like a Birmingham's top model and that, can you bring him like a picture of your man in his drawers and that? <laughs> oh, 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 okay, I'm being serious now, I gotta be serious because it, it, it's, it's not it's not fun. Well, it's funny, but it's not funny to some people. But. Um, so yeah, that was the question of the day. So, uh, quick rundown of what's been happening a week. Uh, what can I remember? Um, there was the AJ fight versus Pew Lev on Saturday. Mad to up a cut like that because it leaves you susceptible. <laughs> when you oh, another one, and Pulev is hurt. Pulev is rocked. He's on shaky legs, and down he goes. That was three consecutive uppercuts that Pulev got hit with, and he is badly hurt. Fifteen seconds now for Joshua to finish. Third knockdown of the fight for Anthony Joshua. Right hand, and down goes Pulev, and that's it. I'm glad AJ got the knockout. He, he kind of needed that. Like I understand, like sometimes you want a man to go 12 rounds and that, but sometimes to make a statement in in the heavyweight ranks, I feel like you have to you have to kind of get a couple knockouts. Though you can't be doing 12 rounds. Twice. Obviously, Tyson Fury can do it. But sometimes, I don't know, like, I don't know, maybe it's black people as well, like, because we love, like, the Mike Tysons and that, we love man just punching man up, and man just out blood, like, you know when the ref just not even counting, man just, uh, just dreaming, just, yeah, fried chicken, tutu, callaloo, yeah, yeah, steam fish, yeah. Bruh. You know the way he's there, when the man just deep sleep, man, yeah, and give me a fat bag, bitch, yeah, yeah, yeah. Toenails. Like nigga, you gone bro, gone like sometimes we love that shit, you get me? So that was a good fight. Um I'd like to see AJ versus fucking Tyson Fury. That should happen next year. Obviously I know you sick. Um he comes from cruiserweight, he stepped up to heavyweight, he was a cruiserweight champion, so he had all the bouts, so he thought fuck it, let me just go up a rank. So he's gone to heavyweight now. Because he's mandatory for one of AJ's bouts, he's always wanted to say, yo, because I'm mandatory, mandatory means you have to fight that person. That person is the next person you're supposed to fight, but because he's had a couple of other fights. You six like, nah, fuck that, I need to fight you, but everybody wants to see this Tyson Fury versus AJ fight, and I know there's always going to be contract clause when it comes to AJ's camp, but I feel like whoever wins, they need to fight you six, then have a rematch, but that should be a mad thing in 2021. If that happens, he'll be in England. I don't want him fucking Saudi Arabia and that, like, fuck off, bro, like, come to Wembley and come to England, either Wembley, the old 2s not that big, Tottenham Stadium, yeah, Tottenham Hotspurs, their football stadium holds bare people and stuff, so yeah, man, one of them. What else has been happening? Oh, on Saturday Saturday night, a shark was supposed to battle Keisha Cole. I was thinking, oh, this is gonna like never in a million years did I think that I would test positive. Um, I'm so mad because I was so ready. I would give her that murder, rude boy, and the way she's put on that good weight. Like, I seen her when did I see her in concert? I think it was like February, yeah, I seen her in February. Lord, gal is tick, bro. Hard old bread, fam. Back bread fam, yeah, good food. Ashanti is still good food. 19 years later, I've liked Ashanti. You know when man had posters up on the wall and that? So yeah, man, what, admit that? What, blood, posters, blood? I was like, yeah, shanking, man, blood. You think I got time to worry about pussy, blood? That's why certain men are fucking in question now. Um, I like Keisha Cole. I think she's got about, I would say Keisha Cole's got about six, seven tunes out of slappers. But I don't think she's got 20. I don't think she's got that in Arsenal. And I feel like Ashanti has got the same amount. I think Ashanti's got about 10 slappers. But then the features that she's got helps. Like you've got the Fat Joe. What's love? Got the Ja Rule. Always on time. And uh, 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 like she's got slappers, bro. Uh, fabulous. So into you. Fucking hell. There's loads, bro. There's loads. There's loads. Let, let's not dwell on that. But that's going to be re um, scheduled to the 9th of January. So I definitely look forward to that. What else? What else has been happening? The mobiles. 
Um, let's talk about some award shows. The Mobiles happened last week, Wednesday, on my birthday. Um, shouts to H, 0161 Manny on the map. H has got the same birthday as me, the 9th of December. Team Sajan you know that. But for the Mobile Awards that was on last week, I think everything was about right still. Album of the Year went to Nines, Crabs in a Bucket, Best Male Act, Teddy One, uh, Best Female Act, Mahalia. Song of the Year, um, Young T and Bugsy Don't Rush featuring Heady One. That tune when the first lockdown happened, shouts out to the girl, them. I think it was like two, three black girl that did the challenge originally. Blood, like, that spread like wildfire. That had every girl just putting on good clothes, makeup again. I was like, some of the girl look good again. And it's man because I like natural, but you know when some girl just look run down, rude boy. Just like, oh, shorty, you need a hug still. Yeah, you're not putting no love, no, no, you're not putting no love in your seasoning. Best newcomer went to H. Yep, uh, video of the year went to NSG, Lapita. Um, but yeah, man, I think everything was good still. I liked, um, they even had the best performance in a TV show or film. Went to Michael Ward as Marco in Blue Story, Ratman's film. I felt like Michael Ward had a better role in Top Boy as Jamie. Like, I felt like, yeah, that is the thing. Also, so Kano and Asher D also says that Top Boy, they're, they're currently filming the new season of Top Boy. That one day I'm looking forward to because, yeah, the last one was, was good still. Get me 10 episodes, I thought it might have been a bit too much, but I'm like, nah. But this one, though, I do want to see, like, some personalities in there. You get me? I want to see, like, a Harry Pinero playing a Godman Jamaican. You get me? I want to see Harry Pinero with, like, a like a spliff in his mouth, just like a, just like a, yo, oh, fam, hey, where's the fucking food, bro? Hey, 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 where's the food? Hey, where's the fucking food, blood? Huh? Blood, you're taking a piss, bruv. And not on, blood, light him up, cuz. Yeah, turn over the street. Uh, I want to see Harry Pinero on a bad boy thing. Yeah, or maybe like a Mo Gilligan. You get me? Somebody that you wouldn't expect in Top Boy, but they have to be like doing a good job. Car. I feel like oh, Dave did well when he played Modi. Like I feel like that was ten out of ten. Everybody else, yeah, man. So LMA won Best Album 2017-2019. Her album LMA. That was a good album. Best Reggae Act went to Budja Banton. I'm sure Budja's only been out for like 13, 14 months. So I was kind of surprised at that. I felt like UK based. I felt like Stylo G's had a Pretty decent, yeah. I like that. Shout out to the uh, mobiles. Hopefully, they can be on every year because I know they wasn't on last year. All right, so if we bring it back home to Birmingham, we have the Birmingham Music Awards 2020. Um, for those that don't know, I think they've been going for a few years still. Um, I know of it when I was on radio with DJ Bigos, and he was speaking to I think one of the like the producers of this show. Um, I think she wanted more input on like the urban nominees, which is good to be honest because they need somebody on the panel who's like from the city in it that that know shit. You can't have like urban categories and not have urban people people on your panel. Um, same if you had like, you, you need somebody who's in that scene to, that can say, this person is, is a good nominee, that person is a good nominee. Otherwise, I'm just gonna start picking random people and it's gonna look to the left. Um, but I never watched it. That was on Thursday, the day after the mobile. So that was on Thursday, the 10th of December. Um, but the winners were, for people that for people that we would know in our scene, in the urban scene, we had best magazine or vlog or blog went to Berms' Grime. Follow them on Instagram. Yeah, man, I like them. Their page is good. Best music related business went to to BA3 Music Group, which is Despa. Um, he looks after uh, like the JKs and the Daps on the Maps. So definitely shouts out to him. He opened a new studio earlier on in the year, I think like summertime, and he had a cypher with all the grime artists about two months ago. Definitely check that out on YouTube. Best producer went to Screamer. Um, shouts out to Screamer, he's a good producer. I was looking at Screamer's picture like, hold on, how come Screamer's got a skin fade? I swear mine has got dreads like Bob Marley now. How the fuck, where the fuck did they get this picture from? Like Screamer, I know you didn't send this into them. Like Birmingham Music Awards, I, I know you don't follow Screamer card. How the rush you got this picture, I don't know. Man's got, you know how long it takes to grow dreads? I don't think men understand how long it takes to grow. I've had plats, bro. You get me? To get to like Kreps level of having plats, bro, that's a lot. <laughs> That's a long time, you know, because man have to start with these little pepper grains and you have to ride that wave. It's just, oh, it's all mad and that. You wearing hats and that, do rags and that, out here looking like an American in, in a wife beater and that. So, shouts out to um, Screamer. Soweto Kinch, best jazz act. He's been doing his thing for a long time. There was a best folk and country act, uh, Catherine Pretty. I was like, raw. I don't even know people in Birmingham listen to uh, folk and country, but shouts out to them. Yeah. Uh, best dance or Afro beat went to Articel. Shouts out to Articel. I thought to myself, though, I thought Articel. I was like an MC, like a real grime MC. Like so, when I said that, I was like, oh, okay, maybe he makes like um, like Afro Afro beats or dance or bashment music now. Millions won best hip hop rap act, definitely well deserved. Um, I feel like Millions has probably been out for how long? I'm gonna say about a year and a half. Would you say? Yeah, it's about a year and a half still. So he definitely deserves that. 
Best R&B soul act went to a guy called Ruben James, who also had the best album. And I was like, "Raw, I don't even know who this brother is." So I kind of went on his um, I went on his Instagram just to have a quick look to see what he's saying and like what his music's like. And you know, like when artists are artists, but like they don't have a lot. He probably does have a lot of his own music, but if I'm looking at your first 15 um, posts or your first 18 posts and I don't hear like a song of yours where you're singing, I'm like, oh, this is long, bro. Like, you got people on there playing like instruments and that. I'm like, I ain't got time for that. So, um, yeah, Ruben James one now. I don't know who the fuck that is. Um, Shouts out to him because he won the best album. So, he's got to be half decent, but again, that's where the panel would come in. If I was on a panel, um, that would be a hard one to do because to give somebody the R&B category, it's really about, well, not just the R&B category, Category. When it comes to music in general, you've got to give it to somebody who's consistent. Just because you've had one good song, like that, don't really make it for me. I feel like you've got to be consistent. Like you've got videos after videos. You've had a project in the past 12 months. I feel like the Birmingham Music Awards. I think they did all right, to be honest. Um, I know a few people was like. Mm, this is a bit to the left, but I feel like the main culprits won um, the Leashers, the JKs, Millions. Um, some people might not know Scream as a producer, but he's a bad boy producer. But yeah, for me, it was just the R&B. The R&B and Soul Act. I was like, mm, I don't know Ruben James and I like r and I'm an R&B type of man, so I was surprised I didn't know. Um, I probably would have had to have looked at the nominees to see this is probably the reason why Ruben James, because it probably was a category of unknown people. But hopefully the Birmingham Music Awards can definitely as I says, get a panel, always have a panel that would definitely stay on track and I feel like, you know what they might need to have from next year onwards? I feel like Birmingham Music Awards should have like a podcasting um, category as well because I feel like this year, 2020, there's been so much podcasters that's that's emerged and I was like, fuck it, now it's been a good year, man. Shouts to everybody doing their, their podcast because I feel like it's a way that you gotta get shit out, even if you're a musician and you can't make music, you can't get to the studio because of lockdown, I feel like you can just make a podcast in your own yard or your YouTube or be a content creator somehow I feel like that sort of the internet needs to start coming into some of these categories shout out to the mobile they had a, um, the personality category which was like Mo Gilligan and uh, Chunks and Philly and who else was in there Maya Jammer was in there what else Marvel said they don't want to recast to Charla's character from Chadwick Boseman's passing I was like yes shouts out to Marvel for that Shout out to Marvel for that. That's a good look still because I ain't want no next person fucking trying to be T'Challa blood like get me I love Civil War. Civil War, um Captain America Civil War is in my top three Marvels. Black Panther's in my top three Marvel and Infinity War, all three of them I got fucking Chadwick Boseman in. And I just I just loved all three of them, you get me? So it's like ah. When he passed, like, you know, when like after you think about it, after you digress, you kind of think like as a black person, you feel like who the fuck now would they recast? Because it's such an important role that he played, and he fucked up the role. Like he done a fucking ten out of ten. No little kids wanted to be Black Panther. Like in my generation, we never had no black superheroes. The closest man had was like Blade or Spawn and that, and that man were like superheroes. Yeah, man. Shouts to Marvel for that. Um, I'm looking forward to seeing who Ryan Coogler, who's a director and a writer, who he's gonna cast. I'm hoping that it would have been um, Killmonger, which was Michael B. Jordan. Like, I would hope that somehow they can put, bring him back and then make, and he could play Black Panther. But then, if you read the Marvel comics, you would know, like, Black Panther's sister, Shuri, she has a major part in the comics. So, I feel like maybe, um, is it Letitia Wright who plays her? She's from London, UK. I feel like, again, I feel like a lot's going to be on her shoulders, which is good, because I think she's a great actress. From the first season of Top Boy, I've liked Letitia Wright. I feel like she's cold with it. So, it'd be interesting to see who Ryan Coogler chooses so I'm looking forward to that we had a pass in as well last week we had Tiny Lister um, he used to be a wrestler called Zeus a lot of us know him as Debo from Friday why you tripping Debo shut up fuck I knock your ass out oh man that's messed up what you giving back his chain what chain yeah what chain Good actors, there's been a couple other films as well, but I don't know a lot of other films, like Friday for me and a lot of other people would be like his main role. Um, and Barbara Windsor, Babs, fucking hell, man. I used to love Peggy Mitchell. I used to work at Botanical Gardens, yeah. I used to tell my oh, I used to love a Peggy Mitchell back in the day, you know, when I was young. I don't know what it was, yo. Babs is good food. And man, I'm looking at me like, bro, I think this big black geezer from the ghetto fucking talk about he would fucking date Babs. Yeah, bro, from the Carry On films from the late 60s, 70s to Peggy Mitchell. I always thought, like, don't know what it was about Peggy Mitchell, but there was a sex appeal to Barbara Windsor and then after like Peggy Mitchell when I got a little older I started liking um Helen Mirren I feel like Helen Mirren is 
fucking beautiful. If you don't know who that is, fucking I'll Google my girl. Grade, yeah, 10 out of 10. I don't listen. If we're talking gilfs, fuck that. Helen Mirren is beautiful. Yeah, man, Barbara Windsor, yeah, shout out to her. You get me? As I said, 4 foot 10, yeah. She's she, she slapped up her sons, Phil, Grant, her husband, Frank Butcher. When Frank Butcher was cheating with Pat Butcher, she slapped up Pat Butcher. My girl's 4 foot 10. Little bit, yeah, just out here. Original happy slapper. Kind of. oh. You cow! Mm. <clears throat> oh. Hey! Okay. Get out of my pub. If you got a bitch slap from Peggy Mitchell, you know it's warranted. So definitely rest in peace to Babs. Rest in peace to fucking Tiny Lister. Lizo, uh, is it Lizo or Lizzo, the uh, the black singer? Um, she took some sort of 10 day detox and everyone was in the opera on Twitter. I seen on Twitter like, man, I'm like, no, why is she doing that? Like, we don't want her to get slim and I'm like, raw. Like, she's doing it for 10 days. How much weight do you think a big guy's gonna lose in 10 days? How can a skinny person be upset that a big person wants to try something to become healthier? It makes no fucking sense. Bruh. And obviously she's body confidence. Like she's probably the number one female. Like I was gonna say black, but who else? Like he's white, that's Indian, Chinese, that's Lizo, Lizzo size, that's body confident the way she is. I, I don't even know. I don't I don't even know, like I don't know. There probably is, but for me, I don't know. Lizzo's like probably like number one body confidence. Like she gives many women confidence, whether you're bigger than her or smaller than her. You gotta look at her and give her credit. But yeah, man, Twitter was an opera. She was trending for hours. I was like, raw. People don't want a bigger person to become healthier because basically the most that she's gonna lose in 10 days, let's say a stone, like really and truly, are you gonna notice a stone off Lizzo? If I lost a stone right now, are you gonna notice? Like you might just say, Robbie, she look a bit different still. Oh no, no, you got a trim in it. Mother. This mother, like, how much can you really lose? Like, stop the foolishness. Bro, I was like, fucking hell, but speaking of BBWs, big black women, quick shout out to Jack Grealish, captain for Aston Villa Football Club. Yeah, man, he got caught up in a um in a scandal with um this BBW, man. I was like, raw, Jack Grealish likes his big black women. Okay, okay, okay. She had them big, voluptuous titties. Like, Jack would have to hold one titty with two hands. You get me? Like, you ain't ready for them trophy titties, fam. Them World Cup titties. Them fucking Champions League title fucking dude. What music am I listening to? Uh, I'm currently listening to, for an album, I'm listening to Abracadabra, Product of My Environment. That came out December the 4th, so I've definitely taken that in the past week. That's a decent album still. I liked Abracadabra since, um, since Robbery. I think it kind of fell off, 2018. Last year, 2019. But I feel like he got his source back. Like, ever since um, Spin This Coop. Now, nah, not even Spin This Coop. Now, nah, on deck. Since, since on deck. Yeah, Jiggy Jiggy on deck. Oh, shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, man, the album's good still. I'd say the album's probably, probably like a 7.5 or an 8. Um, it's got a couple like singy, wavy, D black Europe type tunes. I'm not really a fan of those sort of tunes. I just feel like sometimes it can be a bit too much. But yeah, man, I feel like it's a good project. Uh, my single that I've been listening to this week would be M24. His new tune, and that's called Too Much Pride. Since I first heard him, I was like, yeah, this brother's cold. Like, he does drill in it. So when he done that tune, and it was like a slow, painful hip hop rhythm, I was like, bow. Yeah, man, that's what I need. You get me? I love the I love the crossover where drill artists go on to hip hop or grime MCs go on to hip hop because eventually to go worldwide you're gonna have to kind of do a bit of hip hop. I'm not saying you have to become a hip hop artist. Show your talent if you just want to do a couple of tunes on your on your album, on your EP, on your mixtape. You get me? There's nothing wrong with that. So yeah, that's what I'm listening to at the moment. What am I watching? Uh, I just finished watching The Queen's Gambit about a young girl that plays chess. Mom passed away, so she went into like a um, foster home and there she just found somebody playing chess. My man taught her and she became a fucking bad boy. Like, at a young age, like, she was killing my man, the man who taught her. Like, she was killing off my man and she went into tournaments. This was based in like, I think it was like 60s, 70s, but I don't even know how to play chess. But I just thought that program there, raw 10 out of 10. Like, there's a lot of Netflix programs or films. I'm like, oh, this is raw garbage, bro. But Queen's Gambit, I just took a chance one day. Yo, you know when one episode grips you? 
I'm like, yeah, second, yeah. Like, if the one episode grips me, I'm watching that still. Like, if your 45 minutes or an hour don't really say nothing, fuck the off, bro. I ain't got time to be wasted. So, yeah, Queen's Gambit, definitely check that out. Um, if anybody wants to teach me any fucking chess, I know some of the pieces now, the pawn, that can only move one. That's the only piece that I know how, how to move. I know one moves out, one moves diagonal. They're like different ones move different ways. But I know the pawn, the bishop, the rook, the knight. And I think the queen and the king. I need to learn how to play chess in 2021, you get me? So yeah, man, that was me. That was the rundown. That was the wrap up of my past seven days. Uh, make sure you like, share, subscribe. Uh, leave a comment if I've missed anything out or leave a comment if you want to add to anything that I've mentioned. Um, if not, have a good week. Stay safe and I'll catch you back next week. Yeah, myself, Biggs, out of the building. Blah! Yo, you man, come look at this black girl. Ooh, she looks like seasoning and planting. Oh, she looks like a contract phone you don't have to pay for. What was that, Ruth? Why are you trying to do better metaphors than me? What do you mean? You think you love black women more than me, fam? Who would die for black women? Oh, live for black women. Ooh, that's actually better, you know, because you see, once you're dead, you can't do nothing for black women. Oh, I love black women more than my mum. Your mum is a black woman, fam. Exactly. He's got you there still. What? Well, guess what? I love black women so much that when they swapped out the dark skin on Vivan Fresh Prince, I stopped watching the show, even though it only got harder after that. They are my African queens. Queens, because of my dreams. Taking me where I've never been. They make my heart go ding a ling a ling. Your man sound hella performative right now, not gonna lie. Are you calling my love for black women performative, bro? Yo. Wanna rush him? Yeah, come. No!